Hello there, everybody. This is Miss Stephanie here. I'm glad that we are able to now offer a new way of participating with our Christian education program, and this is Sunday Fun Day at Home Edition. So, some people maybe right now aren't able to come to our events. Maybe you live far away. Maybe you just can't be out with other people right now. Or maybe you have been able to come and you really wish that we were doing more. So this is a lesson that you can do at home with your siblings or friends or your parents. And you can get a little package that will have all the stuff in it that you need. Or you can probably find the stuff to do it at home too. If you did get one of our little packages, you might have some directions like I have that you can follow along with. So here are some of the things that we're going to need today. You're going to need some cardboard, some things to draw with like crayons or markers or colored pencils. I have crayons today. You might want some stickers or things that you can use to decorate one of our projects. Some duct tape or glue or staples that we can use to connect some of our crafts. Some scissors. Some paper, maybe some color construction paper if you have it. And then one of the most important things we're going to need is a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible at home, you can still follow along with the scripture that we're going to be reading today because you can use this fancy thing called the internet, which is probably how you're watching this video, and you can look up Psalm 5, and I bet you'll find a bunch of different ways that you can follow that scripture along with us, even if you don't have a Bible. So, like I said, today we're going to be talking about Psalm 5. And there are three big things that I want us to remember as we do our little lesson today and as we read this scripture. And that's that God hears us. There are lots of different ways for us to talk to God. And that God protects us. So you can pull out your Bible or whatever you're using to find the scripture. Maybe you're just going to Google it. Um, there's a site called Bible Gateway that's really good for, you can look up anything in the Bible with that. And so then you're going to go to Psalm 5, and we're looking at verses 1 through 12. So you can read that, talk about it with your parents or whoever you're doing this activity with, and we've got a few questions that can help you start a conversation too. So one question that you can talk about are, what are some of the things in that little scripture that stand out to you? How does it teach us about those three things that I just said? That God hears us, there's lots of ways to talk to God, and that God protects us. Where do those come up? And do you have any other questions about what you read? So now it's time for our first activity, and this one is going to focus on those first two points that I talked about, that God hears us, and there's lots of different ways to talk to God. And we're going to make some fancy little headbands. So for this part, you're going to need the, the paper, something to color with, you will probably need some scissors and glue or something so that you can tape things together. So we are going to make these headbands that are going to have big ears on them that will remind us that God hears us. And we're also going to include some different reminders of how we can talk to God. So first, we are going to make our big ears. So you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half like you're making a card. And then, to make our ears, then you're going to make one ear on one side. So, one way that you can kind of do this is like making a big C with a little C in the middle. If you're having a hard time making your ear. And you want it to be as big as this sheet. 
because we want really big ears. This is what my ear looks like. And we only need to draw one. Because then, we're going to cut it out. And because of how we folded our paper, even though we only drew one, we're going to get two ears. Alright, so there's one ear, and then here's my other ear. I'm going to draw a little C in it so that it looks like the other one, too. So those are my ears. Then, we're going to take a strip of paper. I already have mine cut out. And you're going to attach... Well, excuse me, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, what you're going to do is you're going to take your strip of paper and we're going to put some things on it. You are going to write down some things and reminders of different ways that you can talk to God. Maybe you like to pray out loud or in your head. Maybe sometimes you like to talk to God when you're going for a walk or sitting in the car. Did you know you could write a letter to God? That's another way that you can talk to God. Maybe you like to draw. That can, art can be a way of talking to God too. So you can take a minute and draw and write whatever you want to on your strip of paper. So now your headband, the strip of paper, should be all decorated with things to remind you of different ways that you can talk to God. So the next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it's fit to your head and you can attach it to itself and then you can put your ears on and you probably want to attach it and fit it to your head first so that you can put the ears kind of close to where your ears might be so you don't end up with ears on your face and when you're all done with that we'll get ready for our next activity Alright guys, so for our second activity, we are going to be making shields to remind us that God protects us. If you got one of those little packages that I talked about earlier, then you probably already have a shield that looks something like this one does. If you didn't get one of those, or you want to make another one, I'm going to show you how to get it to look like this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take that cardboard that I talked about, and you're going to cut it into a shield shape. Maybe it looks like this. Maybe it's round. Maybe it's whatever you want it to be. And then, for mine, I put some duct tape on the edges to help protect it a little bit. But you don't have to do that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut like a little strip of cardboard. Or you can use more tape or string or whatever you think of to make a little handle on the back. And this is how I did mine. I cut my strip and I taped it like that. So now, I have my shield. So, once your shield is all created, we can decorate it now. And you can do that however you want to. You can be as creative as you like. Remember, these are supposed to be reminders for us that God protects us. So here's an example I found and you can try to make yours look like this or you can make it look like whatever you want. Would a cross help remind you of God? Maybe you could write God on there. You could put other words or pictures that remind you that God is always close to our hearts and that he's always going to protect us. You can use stickers or other things to decorate if you have that in the package you got or if you have that at home you can use crayons markers whatever you'd like to decorate it and be as creative as you want because it's for you well 
I hope that you guys enjoyed our Sunday fun day at home edition and that you learned something new maybe. And let's remember the three big things that we talked about. Maybe you can get them before I say them. Number one is that God hears us. Number two is that there's lots of different ways to talk to God. And number three is that God protects us. I still need to decorate my shield, but it's still a good reminder. So if you really enjoyed this little lesson that we did and you'd like to see it again, let us know so we can make one. And if there's something that maybe you wish was a little different, let us know that too. And if you have any other questions or you want to tell us about some of those things, you can, or your parent can reach out to me, Miss Stephanie. I'm the Christian Education Coordinator at Clifton Springs United Methodist Church. And an email that you can use to get in touch with me is csumceducation at gmail.com. I hope you guys had fun, and I hope maybe we'll get to see you again.